hello everyone welcome to the smart life today in this video i'm going to connect the xiaomi mi router ax 1800 and the redmi ax5 in a mesh networking system so this is the xiaomi mi router ax 1800 as you can see and this is my main router and i bought this redmi ax5 to connect to this router in a mesh networking system but the uh, during my last review of the ax5 I found out that the firmware pre-installed in the router was not supporting the mesh networking system but today they have released a new update of the firmware and it is now supporting the mesh networking system with the AX1800 as well as the AX3600. So now let's update the firmware of the Redmi AX5 to the latest one. So first we need to download the new firmware. Go to www onemiwifi.com and go to the second tab and go to rom and in there as you can see there is a new update you can translate it you translate this today july 14 and you can download this firmware and before that we can see the update log it says that the new firmware can support the mesh networking system with the ax 1800 and the ax 3600 with the redmi ax5 routers and it also says that it can support a maximum speed of 1200 mbps through wireless and a fixed speed of 1000 mbps with the wired networking system let us download it and in the meanwhile i'll go to the miwifi.com to access the redmi routers interface you can translate it this is the redmi routers interface and enter the password and you can see that this is connected so you have to go to the second tab and go to i in order to update manually as you can see the current firmware version is 1.0.16 but the latest one is 1.0.26 you can upgrade to this one so you can click on manual upgrade and choose the newly downloaded firmware that is the 026 and let's start upgrading okay now it seems to be upgrading the router indicator leds will change color to red and it will start blinking and we have to wait for all of them to turn blue once it turns blue we can reconnect to the router now it has turned blue so now we can reconnect to the router i think the internet is already present so we can translate this page so it says the power supply should not be disconnected because it may break the router and then the upgrade process will take five to eight minutes now we can re-log in go to miwifi.com and we can enter the password and now as you can see the mesh networking mode is available here and you can see the add mesh node routing so what i have to do is now i have to reset this redmi router because this will be a child router and the host router will be the ax 1800 so i will reset this redmi router and i'll try to connect this redmi router from the ax 1800 router in order to reset it you can use a sim ejector tool like this and there is a reset button here if you can see there is a reset button you can click this for five seconds and it should turn off the system and it will change the uh, led indicators from blue to orange and uh, once it turns blue then you can try to connect using this router now the reset is complete the system led has turned blue and the internal indicator is orange because i have not set it up now i have connected to the mi x 1800 router as you can see so this is the Mi X1800 router and we can enter the password. This is the Xiaomi X1800 router and you can translate if you want. And you can click on add mesh node routing and we can start searching. And now it has found the Redmi AX5 router as you can see here. And it is also showing the Wi-Fi signal. We can try to add and we can select some location where you want to so you can confirm it it is taking some time and it says it will take about one minute to expand the mesh node now it says the mesh networking expanded successfully now the mesh networking setup has been completed between the ax5 and the ax1800 and now we can go to miwifi.com and now we can see the entire network topology so you can see the xiaomi router network topology diagram and here you have the internet xiaomi ax 1800 as the gateway router and the redmi ax5 as the child node so you can access both of the routers so you can log into the ax 1800 and you can see that the devices that are connected and in the devices you can see that the mesh networking equipment is the redmi ax5 router with the mac address and the corresponding ip address 
and if you want to access the redmi ax5 web interface then you can click here and you can enter the password and now you can see the this is a child mesh and the current firmware and upgrade the, you can also upgrade the firmware and so on so these are the web interfaces after the connection of the mesh networking between the two routers so you can you can only control the equipments that are connected to the network using the uh, gateway router or the base router and you cannot control the uh, like the qos system or the uh, blocking of the network interfaces and other things cannot be controlled from the redmi router which is the child router there was the web interface now coming to the app the app that i have here is a translated version of the chinese app because the official google play store app available in english does not support the mesh networking options and they have not updated it so this is a translated version of the chinese app and this translation is done by a fellow youtuber i'll give a link uh, in my video description to his video and you can download the apk file and install it for android systems and it is not available for the ios systems for the installation you have to uninstall the uh, already existing mi wi-fi app and install this from the apk file and you can log in with your mi account so once that is done then you can see your routers that are connected and if i go to devices so if you go to the mesh networking equipment you can see the mesh router management and you can see both x1800 which is a parent node and connects to the internet and the child node so this is currently connected as a cable because i have connected the cable and if i disconnect the cable as you can see that it will turn to the wi-fi mode let's refresh and see now we can see that the connection is 5 gigahertz wi-fi because they are connected between each other using the 5 gigahertz wi-fi and if the signal is weak between these two routers then it will use the 2.4 gigahertz but i would recommend you to connect between these two systems using the cable because it will provide a fixed 1 gigabit uh, link between the two and it, you will have a better network quality but you can also use the 5 gigahertz wi-fi so that is it so if you connect the cable then it will give priority to the cable over the wireless network and you can also delete this remove this device from the networking so in order to add the router the child node should be reset and the system reset should be completed so let's try to remove it and add it using the app so in order to set up the mesh networking system be using the app in the interface of the ax1800 plugins you can find the add mesh node or you can go to device menu and you can go to mesh networking equipment and in the mesh networking equipment you can uh, find this router and you can click the add and then start searching for it so now it has found the redmi router this router then we can try to add it and you can select the location just select the location of the router and it is now uh, configuring the mesh networking system now as you can see the internet has turned blue uh, now we can see that the wi-fi coverage has was enhanced and uh, you can finish it now if you go to the mesh network equipment we should be able to see both of them as you can see this is the uh, redmi router and currently it is connected via the cable so as i said before if you remove the cable then it'll be connecting using the 5 gigahertz or the 2.4 gigahertz network so from this menu you, you can restart the this uh, child router as well as the parent router so these are the two connections that i have right now and you can see all the options here and you can also add more routers in the mesh network and another thing that is uh, available in this menu is the guest wi-fi the guest wi-fi option is not available in the official english app from the google play store so i think you can access it here uh, xiaomi has said the optimal number for the mesh networking system to work correctly is uh, four routers in the network okay, that's it my mesh networking system has been completed and uh, after adding the mesh networking node i can place this redmi router anywhere uh, in my home and then we can expand the network the devices connected between the network should be able to switch the network seamlessly without any problems so that's it for today i hope you like this video thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time